But our whole goal is to be climate resilient so that we get to experience skiing and riding as long as we can. Kate Schifani is Director of Mountain Operations at Vail. We keep opening earlier than we ever have, um, and, and that has a lot to do with the snowmaking system here, where we can really count on reliable conditions in the super early season. In 2019, the resort undertook a huge snowmaking expansion project, adding 421 new energy efficient snow guns, giving Vail the capability of making snow on more than 500 acres. They make better snow than any person can because they, they have a whole lot of technology in them that maximizes what we do. So they all have onboard weather stations. They know exactly when the temperature is cold enough to make snow and we can have them turn on. They know exactly when the temperature is too warm to make snow and they turn off. So we don't have any wasted uh, effort in the, in the snow making, which is a big change from what we used to do. Our equipment has upgraded. Um, we've put compressors on these fans, so it's a lot more localized uh, just in the field. Uh, the, as a company, we've offset all of our emissions with uh, a wind farm, so all of our energy is renewable that way across our operation, which is really cool. Making snow is not just about throwing water into cold air. It's more of a science. It involves, yes, the temperature, but also humidity and something called the wet bulb. The wet bulb conditions take into account relative humidity, wind speed, and a few other things. At 100% wet bulb, your dry temperature and your wet temperature are the same. So it's 28 degrees, it's 28 degrees. Out here in Colorado, it's a pretty dry climate. And so it might be 28 degrees and 50% humidity. And so it really is more like 23 degrees when we're talking about snowmaking. The man-made snow is quite a bit different than its natural version. The snow we make out of the machines is a good bit wetter has a little bit more density and will stay in place higher on the mountain longer. And most of the water that we use goes right back into the watershed and that cold storage feature just prolongs the time it takes to melt. So instead of having the rush of a runoff all at once, the snowmaking kind of helps level out the runoff and keep our streams healthy longer. And the various microclimates across the mountain make a difference. We did invest a lot in different weather stations all over the mountain, so we have a better understanding of what the weather is doing here versus maybe halfway down. We're probably never gonna get there, but we wanna make the exact right amount of snow and not any more and not any less, right? We wanna be as efficient as we can. 